Sitting all alone Sharing on a transol Just like a baritone Singing through the soap I, I, got, I gotta say something I just almost exploded this weekend um, And I, did I rave this morning in the meeting, Angry Rich? You lost it, yes Okay, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to discuss this without losing it. Al Gore and a guy named Joel Hyatt own a network called Current TV. Uh, recently, they hired a guy named David Borman uh, to to run it to be president. And uh, I've known David Borman for years. I worked at NBC with him, and even after that, I run into him once in a while. And he he ran CNN's Washington bureau for a while. Uh, his father was a TV anchorman in L.A. I used to watch when I was a kid. And uh, a kid being a college student. And Borman uh, is my new hero in television because Borman did something uh, this weekend that no one's ever done before and uh, is it, it just gives him absolute hero status. He fired Bathtub Boy, Keith Olbermann. He just fired him. You know, nobody's really ever done. There's been disputes. I mean, he got kind of thrown out of ESPN, and then he was kind of weaseled his way out of MSNBC, and they weaseled their way out of the deal with him. But but nobody's just out and out fired him before. And Borman uh, talked to uh, Al Gore and Joel Hyatt into doing it good, a, a great thing. In the weekend coverage about Keith Olbermann getting fired from Court TV, I was just astonished that these writers at the New York Times, particularly there, but other places, treat this guy so seriously. Uh, David Carr wrote about him this weekend in the New York Times, and Brian Stelter wrote about him. And it, these guys have been following this guy's uh, pathetic career and treating it seriously for years uh, when they should have recognized this is an absolutely dysfunctional uh infantile arrested development teenager who is uh, in you know his middle years of life and can't get along with anybody for some reason and somehow his mother ruined him years and years ago she told him he was smarter than anybody and he carries that um, mistaken notion with him to this very day they've taken him seriously in sports and Lately, they've taken him seriously in politics, and he's really an empty vessel that shouldn't be taken seriously and never should have been. Now it's finally come to this where even Al Gore can't stand him and has to blow him up. And there's just one more thing that I've just got to add. This guy, among the complaints he had at Current TV was that the car service he requires that the driver smelled and that they talked to him. I dare them talk to him. And it got me to thinking about the fact that many of us in, in this business occasionally get a car service or are allowed to use the car service, and it's either a luxury or a convenience or something like that. But for this guy, it's a necessity. He, alone among every male I know, cannot drive. I mean, do you know anybody, do you know anybody who is an adult who cannot drive? He claims it's vertigo. He can't drive because of vertigo. I, I mean, excuse me, I was around for, for, for people coming up with endless excuses or getting out of the draft. That one got you laughed out of the room. Vertigo? Give me a break. This is a guy who cannot drive a car and sat in judgment of political of, of professional athletes for years and people actually believed what he had to say about professional athletes he couldn't can't throw a ball he can't catch a ball he cannot drive a car do you know anybody who cannot drive a car in America today except for somebody over the age where Christine would take their keys away, or under the age where you're allowed to get a driver's license, or Stephen Hawking? Is there anybody who cannot drive a car, not chooses not to, not would rather not, not turns the wheel over to their wife because they'd rather sit in the passenger seat, but claims they cannot drive a car? 
and therefore need a car service where a limousine comes and picks you up. This person, you know, I started to call him bathtub boy because there was a period at MSNBC where I had to do his show because he wouldn't get out of the bathtub because he didn't want to come in and do the Clinton Lewinsky story. And I knew he was a whacked out, phony, infantile, arrested development creep then. And now even Al Gore has joined me in that assessment. But I'll leave you once again with, what does it tell you about a person that they say, I can't drive? Do you know any adult male in America who cannot drive? Am I setting the bar too high at driving? <sighs> he gave up a $50 million contract because he couldn't get along with his bosses. David Borman fired him. David Borman, you're my new hero. Thank God for you. Evangeline, it is the singer-songwriter Emmy Lou Harris. It is her birthday. She is 65 years old. Emmy Lou can drive. John Gibson of Fixed News, today's worst person in the world. Always striving to be the worst to bathtub boy. You should crawl off into a hole and die. But the best to you. John Gibson.